Hello, I'm Professor Meng Huai from Beijing Institute of Technology, and my supervisor is Ji Chang Wei from Beijing University of Technology. My topic is the machine learning model based investigation and prediction of combustion parameter of the pure hydrogen one casualty energies. And the left picture is the diagram of the rotary energy. It contains four parts. One is the siding housing, rotor housing, and the side housing, another side housing. And it's in the two intake parts, two exhausted parts, and the two spark plug, and the one crankshaft with three chamber, one, two, three, and the moving chair and the fixed chair. And the three chamber with the three epic ceiling and the three receivable pocket. The top dead center and the bottom dead center is defined as this picture. So the chamber can both contain two sides, one is the right side and another is front side. The rotor rotation is that this picture is very beautiful. <laughs> The characters of the Venkurut energy include the large capable energy speed, light architecture, high power density, and low mechanical vibration. This is the uh, Massa Venkurut energy with two spark plug. The application of small scale energy for proportion of large centers has become more and more comfortable. As the topical routine machine energy, the attractiveness of Ronco energy benefits is making a comeback in the mind of the church and the manufacturer. So this is the testing bunch of our laboratory. And the machine learning. In the five years, machine learning has become a veritable buzzword. Beyond adding Innovationness to our life. Machine learning can contribute to technology development as well. Machine learning navigates existing space to optimize and predict new designs that have improved performance, high efficiency, and reduced emission. And this is a neural network framework. It consists the input layer, a uh, hidden layer, and an um, output layer. So this is the motivation of this paper. paper. The purpose of this paper is to seek a feasible method for calculating the pre-body phase to model a pure hydrogen molecular energy. The graphic abstract is as follows. So we want to predict the flame development angle, rapidly burning angle, and the combustion central angle using machine learning models. And this is a picture of the machine learning, uh, the energy. And the operation parameters with MAP and Lambda. In this paper for machine learning method are used in this paper. And the genetic algorithm is used to optimize the machine learning model to obtain the best performance. So machine learning models include SVM, ELI, ARM, and BP. So when we get a new date, we should uh, randomly divide the data into training and uh, validation data sites. And the training data site should be uh, use the normalization method 0 to 1 to process the date and use the same scale to besides the testing data set. Then we choose the model of BP to build a model, then optimize with the GA. And the validation the mass validation the model and the calculation the error, then a prediction model is built. This is a machine learning combined with the GA flow. And this is the GA flow. Uh, when it's uh, started the uh, optimization, uh, the first is to generate initial population, then evaluate the individual fitness, and then rank the individual fitness. And we should uh, make a look until time to solve, then 
mutation cover cause over selection and uh, generate a new population then we should get a new uh, uh, optimization case this is a uh, support vector machine uh, named SVM. The kernel function in SVM significantly affects the fitting and the generation ability. The linear RBF and the sigma mode kernel function are commonly used in SVM for regression, or namely SVR. The RBF kernel function performs best in prediction the CA of 0 to 10 and uh, still CA for 15. The linear kernel function is better than IBF in predicting of the CA 10 to 90. This is the ERM, namely extreme learning machine. It is a kind of a feed forward neural network, and the BP is the optimization method or training method named back progression. It would it could obtain better generation performance than BP in most cases, and the research generation performance similar or better than SVM. And this is uh, the effective the number of head layer noodles on the regression performance of ERM. We can see that about uh, twenty noodles is the best. And there's the uh, Alma neural network. It is a topical local regression network. Uh, as a recurrent uh, neural network with local memory unit and the local fever connectation. Uh, the number of hidden layers nodes on model is as follows. Uh, it is very sensitive to the number of the nodes. So the this model that's the model I chose in here. And there's the BP. This is the essential tree method and values in various no linear model application. The influence of the number of head and layer noodles in our model is as follows. Um, so we choose the uh, three noodle, five noodle, and uh, 25 noodles in prediction the convulsion phases. Mm, this is the module qualification. We use the R square, M, C, and MAPE to qualify the models. So uh, we can see this the red color and the blood as the best uh, or best model. So uh, we want to emphasize that. We want to R square equal to one, uh, which means the best model, and the R must be MAP equal to zero. Mm, we divide the training date, uh, which is the data set, into training and the test. So uh, we want we should uh, qualification the two data sites. Uh, we can see that the R square test of element is better than others and the delta r square is the less among the four model and the training timing is very fast compare one compare with others so we should uh, take the element model to predict the combustion phase and the delta a square can be used to qualify as general vision aptitude model. And this is the model performance of say 0 to 10. Uh, it is very similar for, of the four models. And this uh, counter and this say 40. This is the uh, say 10 to when we compare some operation parameter, uh, we take uh, the lambda as the independent 
So the they range from in o forty o ninety five to one point three. Uh, the one energy operation and the simultaneous ignition condition. The say zero to ten increase with the increased lambda, and the trend is same with the CA fifty. While the C ten to ninety decrease with the increased lambda. So that's all. Thank you for your attention.